Greetings to you. Welcome to Physics Class. In today's video, we'll be concentrating on expansivity. In our previous uh, lessons, we discussed heat energy one. We said heat energy is defined as that form of energy that flows from region of high to region of low temperature, and vice versa is never the case. We say such a flow from region of high to low temperature is due to what we call temperature difference in the body or in the system. We also say that temperature is defined as the degree of hotness or coldness of the body. And then we say that when heat energy flows through a system, it causes a lot of changes in that system. Number one, we talk of raise in temperature or change in temperature. We also discuss increase in pressure. We also discuss expansion, then change of states. In today's video, we want to con con um, concentrate on expansion. Expansion simply means the increase in size of an object or a body due to the addition of heat energy. So the word expansivity comes from the word expansion. So what is expansivity? Expansivity is the process with which a body increases in size. When a body increases in size, it is either in one dimension or in two dimension or in three dimension. So the increase in size of an object in one dimension is what we call in physics linear expansivity. So let's write linear expansivity. Expansivity alpha. Linear expansivity alpha of a body or an object due to the addition of heat energy is defined as the increase in length per unit length per each degree raised in temperature. And so linear expansivity is defined mathematically as alpha is equal to. 2 minus unit 1 divided by unit 1 times change in temperature. Let's call this equation number 1. Linear expansivity is also defined as increase, increase in length divided by original length, which is length 1. And then times temperature change in the system. Let's call this equation number two. From the ball, you will agree with me that meter is up here, meter is down here. And so meter cancel out meter. That is, you have alpha is equal to meter over meter times degree Celsius. And so meter cancel out meter. And so you are left with one over degree Celsius or a Kelvin or Fahrenheit. In Nigeria here, we make use of degree Celsius or per Kelvin. And so the SI units or the acceptable units for the acceptable SI units for alpha linear expansivity is what? Per degree Celsius or per Kelvin in Nigeria here. So this is the SI units for linear expansivity. So let's move on. From this equation, from equation number one, we can write again that uh, L2 minus L1 is equal to, if you cross multiply, you have alpha, alpha times length one times change in temperature. And so if you make L2 the subject of the formula, then you have your L2 is equal to what? Alpha length one change in temperature plus L1. You observe that L1 is common, so we factor, factor it out. So this is the same thing as length one into one plus alpha change in theta. So therefore, write that out length two is the present day. So this is the question number. Number three. So these are the possible equations you can have here in this topic. So right, so where where was alpha is the coefficient of the linear expansivity measured in the SI unit of degree per Kelvin 
or I mean degree, degree Celsius or a Kelvin. And then length one is the original length, original length at temperature at theta one is the original length at theta one. So length two is the increase in length at theta two. And then what again? I will not define. So change in temperature. This is what theta two minus what theta one increase in temperature measure the degree in the unit of degree Celsius or per Kelvin. So at this point, we look at area or superficial expansivity. Area or superficial expansivity theta. This is the increase in size of an object in two dimension. The other one was just in one dimension. Mm, that is linear expansivity. One dimension. And this one is what? This one is area expansivity. This dimension or this dimension or any way you choose it to be. So area expansivity is a two dimensional increase in size of an object or a body due to the addition of heat energy. So, we defined area expansivity theta as the increase in area per unit, area per each degree raised in temperature. Area expansivity theta is defined mathematically as A2 minus A1 divided by A1 times change in temperature. You can call this equation number five. Also from above, uh, A2 minus A1 also means increase in what? Area. You can call this equation number six. Now, I want you to observe something. Both area and linear and area expansivity have the same S I units. So you can see that uh, area from here, let's say beta is a question of area is meter square, right? So meter square is up and half meter square down times what? Uh, degree Celsius or per Kelvin or Fahrenheit. You see that? So meter square cancel meter square. And so the SI units for area is also per degree Celsius or per Kelvin. You see that? So let's move on. So from the above, we also have we also have that uh, A2 minus A1 is equal to beta. A1 change in temperature. So if you decide to make A2 the subject of the formula, then you have your A2 is equal to beta beta A1 change in temperature plus what? A1. Again, A1 is common on both sides, so we factor them out. So you have your A1 into 1 plus beta change plus beta change in temperature so therefore we write that A2 is equal to this we can call this equation number 6 equation number 6 so where where what? Where A1 is the original length, I mean the original area of the object or the body at temperature 1. And then A2 is the increase in area due to the addition of heat energy at temperature 2. 
And then change in theta also means theta 2 minus theta 1. I have told you where beta is the coefficient of area expansivity and it's measured in the SI unit of the Kelvin or degree Celsius or a Fahrenheit. So I believe these are also the possible equations we Sorry, this is six, six, this is question seven. This is equation number seven. These are the possible equations we can come across while solving or dealing with area expansivity. Want to quickly look at volume or cubic expansivity. Volume or cubic expansivity. Volume, volume or cubic expansivity gamma. This is a three dimensional increase in size of an object or a body due to the addition of heat energy. For me to draw something like this, you have something like this. So you have one, two, three. Three dimensional increase in size of an object or a body due to the addition of heat energy. So, what is volume or cubic expansivity gamma? Volume or cubic expansivity gamma of an object or a body due to the addition of heat energy is defined as the increase in volume per unit, volume per each degree raised in temperature. So gamma, volume expansivity gamma is defined mathematically as V2 minus V1 divided by what? V1 change in temperature. So let's call this our equation number 8. Still from the above, you have your V2 minus V1 the same thing as what your increase increase in volume you can call this your equation number nine still from above you have your v2 minus your v1 is equal to gamma v1 change in theta and so you make your v2 the subject of the formula so you have your v2 is equals to gamma V1 change in temperature plus V1. Again, V1 is going to factor it as you have your V1 into 1 plus gamma change in temperature. So therefore, you have your V2 equals to So you can call this your equation number 10. As I said earlier here also, what? You have volume, that is meter cube is up. Volume is made with meter cube. You also have meter cube is down. Then times what? Degree Celsius or, or Kelvin or Fahrenheit. So meter cube comes meter cube. So here, the SI units for linear expansivity, area expansivity, and also volume expansivity are all per degree Celsius or per Kelvin. So the SI is here is what? A Kelvin or a TV Celsius or a Fahrenheit. So that is that for that. Let's move on. So we write where where what? Where V1 is the original volume of that object. At temperature 1. And that volume is measured in what? Meter cube. I told you that earlier. And then V2 is what? The increase in volume of that object due to the addition of heat energy. At temperature 2. Then change temperature remains theta 2 minus theta 1. That is change or increase in temperature. While gamma is the coefficient of volume or cubic expansivity measured in the SI unit of what? Per Kelvin, per degree Celsius, or 
take care of the pyrophytes. So these are the equations you can come by, you can come across with under uh, volume expansivity. We we'll quickly look at the relationship, mathematical relationship between linear volume and cubic expansivity. And then we we'll call this a day. Mathematical. Mathematical relation. Mathematical relationship between linear area and volume expansivity. That is alpha. That is alpha. Beta and gamma. Mind you, I told you something. If we have linear area, linear expansivity as one dimensional increase, then it means we have one alpha here. If you have the other one as two-dimensional increase in size, then it means you have alpha here, alpha here. And then if you have volume expansivity as three-dimensional increase in size, then it means you have alpha here, alpha here, alpha here. And so you have one alpha here, you have two alpha here, and then you have three alpha here. This uh, a simple explanation of their relationship without boring with too much derivation. And so we write that the relationship between uh, linear expansivity and area expansivity is given as what? Beta is equals what? To alpha. We call this by question number 11. The relationship between uh, cubic expansivity and linear expansivity is gamma is equal to what? 3 alpha. This relationship, this call this equation number 12. This may not make sense for now until when we start using them to make calculations in our next video. To this, we have come to the end of today's lesson. Stay blessed and stay safe. God bless you. Thank you.